Well, with some plants starting to blossom, you may be itching to get out and start your garden. But there are some things to consider. News 10 Sarah Schaefer explains why you don't want to plant too soon. The first signs of spring are starting to blossom, and you may be getting eager to start your own planting. But for some seeds, you may want to wait just a little while longer. Our frost-free date's not until mid-April. Agriculture expert Valerie Klingerman says planting too soon can ruin any chance for growth. You want to have enough moisture and warmth, but there's a fine line between. If you don't have the soil temperatures warm enough, it will basically the seed will just sit in the ground or the plants will just kind of sit there and then we get lots of rain and it'll just continue to sit there and then it can cause a lot of rotting and diseases. But what if you just can't wait and you need to get into that garden? Klingerman says not all plants have to wait. The coal crops like the broccolis and the Brussels sprouts uh, might still be a little bit cool for those to be planted, but you know, um, they don't mind the coolness as much. By the way, she did say coal, not cold, as she's referring to the specific type of plant known as coal crops. Now, what about those plants or trees already popping up? If the temps drop again, which isn't uncommon in Indiana, Klingerman says don't use plastic to cover them. Plastic amplifies the cold. As for crops, beans and corn aren't here yet, but wheat could be. A lot with crops once again goes back to soil temperatures. If it's too wet, you can cause those compaction issues, and basically that just sets you up for a season of trouble um, because your plants won't be able to spread their roots out as well on the ground because it's so packed. So make sure the conditions are as prepared as you are to plant so your seeds have a chance to blossom into full bloom. In Terre Haute, Sarah Schaefer, News 10. The Purdue Extension Office has local data that tells you the soil conditions and temperatures in your area. A link to their webpage is on this story on our website, WTHITV.com.